Hello, my name is Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of this book, A Century of Car Aerodynamics, The Science and Art of Cars and Airflow. What I want to cover in today's video is the 1980 ARVW speed record holder produced by Volkswagen, as the name suggests, in the 1980s. Now, I was lucky enough to see this car in the Volkswagen Museum in Germany when I was there, and I was just so impressed. It is a tiny car, tiny in height and tiny in width, and those things are so important to achieving the low overall drag that this car needed to achieve. It was built as a research vehicle, but it was built to go fast. And it was built to go fast using a relatively low power diesel engine. Now, let's have a look at the shape of the car. We've got the air intake for the radiator here. We've got the air exit there. So look at how small the air intake is and how the air is fed out smoothly onto that bodywork. Notice how it's got a little wing at the front uh, to, to reduce lift. And notice how it's got fins at the back to improve straight line stability. Now, unusually, as I say, most low drag vehicles aren't designed to go as fast as this one was, but this one had to be stable as well as slippery. And if we look at the uh, shot taken in the wind tunnel, we can see all that attached flow, and we can see that the curves are relatively low. It's not gonna create a huge amount of lift, and obviously with that front wing, it's also going to get reduced front lift. So what did it achieve? Well, from a standing start, it did 500 kilometers at an average speed of 345 kilometers an hour. And incidentally, when I talk about how small it is, that's not an enormous person sitting in there with a huge helmet, that's just a normal sized person. Now you can start seeing how tiny the car is. Its top speed was 362 kilometers an hour, 224 miles an hour. You might think, well, how many horsepower did it have to do this? 500 horsepower? 750? Well, no, it used a 2.4 litre turbo diesel and it had only 129 kilowatts, 175 horsepower. And that really shows how top speed uh, relates to power. If you've got low enough total drag, you can achieve those high top speeds even on low power. And well, what was this drag coefficient? It's drag coefficient, how slippery the bodywork was in shape was just CD 1.15. But the thing that really made it fly was that tiny projected frontal area, only 0.75 square meters. Now that is really tiny. It was 840 millimeters tall, 33 inches, and it was only 1100 millimeters wide, 43 inches wide. So you have a really low drag coefficient and then you have a tiny projected frontal area and your total drag is going to be very, very low, allowing you to achieve those sorts of top speeds with such little power. It's one of the cars that's covered in the book, A Century of Car Aerodynamics. I cover a whole range of fascinating cars, production cars, concept cars, or in, in that case, a, a speed record car. The book's available from Amazon in your country. Thank you.